And do we see the screen of motion? Oh, yes, we see it. Okay. So actually, everything works from one account. You should be in both. So Corona Y is this is this is our new uh, team account. And if we check billing, by the way, a quick negative dark mode. So much better on the eyes for people who care about this. Yeah. So looks like where the ah here, here's the plants. So we're on team plan, so it's 10 bucks per member. And we have all of these features. Unlimited, essentially everything. Version history is only 30 days. Uh, we will see. Go on. With this. But everything else is there. We don't have advanced security features, single sign-ons, uh, PDF export in bulk, but we have markup in HTML. This is, one, this is exactly what we need. Right? I don't think we need PDF. We have some priority support. Hopefully won't need it. And yeah, so we're in a really good spot. And billing so far, zero per month, even though we have already a bunch of members. Uh, OK. Awesome. So this is what is not available. On my personal account, I have these toggles actually available. And I could tag them. So if we need some knowledge base that we want to, you know, kind of, I don't know, use these features, we could definitely use my my, my personal account for this. But just keep in mind, you know, organizationally. Yeah. But since we're radical transparency, I think we're in a best suit possible because all of these pages now we share, it will say something like. Corona Y over here, instead of my name. I was a little bit like tricked when it's kind of <laughs> unrelated to my stuff, yeah. and it's you, you can change. Uh, you can change that though. You can change no. it from your name to whatever you want. Yeah, I, I think you can do it somewhere here, right? Yeah, I, no. I saw it somewhere. I forget. I was playing around, but I mean, it's not a big. The, the, I think. Oh, okay. I found it. Settings. Yep. Um, so all we have to worry about is somebody by accident deleting something or moving stuff around, which is really easy to do by accident. Mm -hmm. um, so just messing up the organization of it. And then... Uh, so the other... have you figured out, like, because right now I was adding people with this role alone. So members, they're all like admins, so they could invite others, right? But if we do member, does it mean that we could kind of lock them out from like prevent? I, I know you can lock out the edits, right? But then what's the point of notion at that point? I think when we at the point of locking the page, what we do, we export it as HTML as a, you know, uh, ready to go documentation and deploy it on our website as, you know, static page. That's how I see it. So it's a, like uh, notion is this knowledge base. It's a living knowledge base yeah. right the moment when we have bits and pieces that are like solid and we want to definitely kind of okay prevent yeah. we lock it export it and now we we deploy it somewhere also so not only on notion we have it but it's it's a piece of information that worth to share with the rest of the world so yeah. that's how i kind of see all this interaction and so we won't worry about okay is this page is open public is it page searchable for search engines uh, by the way i tested out the search index functionality and it looks like it doesn't really adds any co for for the purposes so we will definitely need to do from co perspective take the page and embed it somewhere or you know like do a copy of it on our website so we'll pop up in, in search ranks that's Wait, kind of my question what, what what's what's co uh search engine optimization Oh, SEO. Okay, okay. SEO, sorry. I, I use sometimes I do not conventional uh, pronunciation. So, yeah, I mean, I, I knew about that you can change this piece, but the thing is, why I couldn't do it on my account? Because all of my personal links are also will, will be Corona wide, you know? Hence why yeah. I, I didn't want to kind of touch yeah. all of this. No, no, but, no. We, we, had to, we had to get it off of your account. Yes, again. That was, that was necessary. I mean, like, I, 
Exactly, because like sometimes like I mean I, I literally have my personal notes there and you know you, you publish it to workspace and now like okay what, what did I yeah. did just did. Okay, so the only thing this is right, this is the button we we want to keep uh, other people access from. Let me see from my personal account as an admin I probably have access to it. Let me see. Oh you know what I don't have access to this button. So it's only the root team account has access to this button. Okay. So for example, like you can't, I mean, from uh, your uh, account on Notion, you can't, you don't have danger though. Yeah. So I think we're good to go on this end. Uh, can I move? I think I definitely could move from my end the, the workspaces, the workspace items. So maybe this, we'll need to think through. Maybe we should, be careful who we add to organization as members, admins, and then the rest of the yeah. people simply have access and edit rights to, to the page itself, but not moving things around. Mm -hmm. And in terms of history, we have 30 days of, of essentially catching if somebody deletes something okay. accidentally or something. Yeah. Right. So, uh, I mean, we definitely need to keep all of this in mind. So, uh, okay, so let me show you how I moved this hold on, this piece around. I, I specifically keep so here is my personal account and here is the workspace item that is left, you know, getting started guy. So what I did, you can definitely do it over here. Move right where is it? Move to or over here. The same burger menu move to or oh, control shift p as a you know shortcut boom has it worked hold on i have a funny page yes and then i just simply picked uh corona y corona y again it was already here because i used it before but it makes a search this is all of different like my personal notes that i have on my account i guess that's why like got metric scores, etc. But I know that this is an org. We need to actually add logo here so it you know we could see it properly. I'm clicking this, now it disappears from my workspace on I mean it's automatically moved me to Corona Y workspace and put it into private. So not workspace, not public level space, but private. So I need to just to simply uh, drag and drop it over here now. Move to workspace because I'm sharing with members. Move. Boom. And now it's all here. And it looks like the people who are contributing here or, or something, maybe they even stayed over here. Let's check. So literature review tool. And I know task ties over here. Alex was working on it. Right? I just manually put it here. But is he here? Ah, oh, probably not. Okay. So we'll need to add Alex Logan to members. Do you remember his email address? Uh, I can get it quickly. Okay, please do. And I'll make him admin as well. Oh, maybe it's... No, there is no... Uh... Putting it in the uh, the Google Meets chat. Oh, okay. Okay, so moving around and things should be easy since just those like three or four workspaces so far. Yeah. And we do it only once. And we should be good to go, right? Okay, Alex, admin, invite. And we want to kind of tag him over here. And doing Alex. Okay. 
any boom. Right, so technically he's supposed to have a, a mansion, right? So now he knows that if something he will come to this place. Um, okay. So all of, essentially I think like so I covered my kind of topic. So all of the pages get it started guide. Let let us check what's the sharing link. Share the web page. The link, uh, the link adjusts to went from your name to Corona Y. Yeah. So, cool. Okay. Do we want to keep, like, what what you think on on this one? Essentially, the names of pages. Is it worse to keep Corona Y over here as a getting started guide? As, as a as a what again? So, uh, I put Corona Y semicolon getting started guide so that yeah. people when i share there is you know explicit corona y because it was anton polish or something do we need to keep it here since now the sharing link is notion.so slash corona y slash and now this this based on this name um so if you look at the share right it, it's kind of like this yeah. corona y corona y now so doesn't look like redundant or something. Yeah, I mean. Oh, you know what? I, I have another. Th like, we definitely need to keep it over here, because if let's say the team has a page with getting started guide, let's say team fi pulmonary fibrosis. If now I'm trying to let's say search for a new page getting started guide, you see I will have two getting started guide. I don't know like yeah. what is related to. So. Uh, in the naming scheme, essentially, we, we need to keep keep this as a tag, I guess, inside it. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good to me. So, for example, dataverse onboarding share. Corona wide dataverse onboarding. You know, makes sense. I like this thing. I I hate this like, you know, at the end the trailing uh, database nonsense like the key or something in the database in the back end that's why i was researching this topic of making like short links that we host just to make a really nice chrono y slash dataverse and just yeah. put it there not on the dns but some service so i hopefully eventually we'll get this chrono y.org slash dataverse on board or something and it will be easy to use for people to add those links or something but uh, i'm getting ahead of myself uh, yeah go yeah. ahead and go ahead and start the the future workspace uh, do you want to do this let's try let's say, collaboration features because i know we could see each other like points where in the document so please do it on your end, and I'm going to go see it what it is. Um, so what you what you just want me to? To do something in here see if you if you can see yeah so what you said just do it on your end uh, and i will try to see how it will look like on, on this okay as a collaboration i tried to do this with maxine when for our like devops tasks and we could actually see where each other uh, contributions are going in yeah I, I see the um there's like a t for you uh-huh yeah t so T or if I'm doing from my personal account here, let me see. I should be able to see. Yep. See it now. So what do what do you see T? Because from my personal one I don't see where the T is. Um so, so for example, like I see myself like this kind of like icon of a of a hand. Oh, yeah. This is my personal account, you know, like yeah. over here. And now let's say if I'm going into into some page. Okay. So 
So I'm over here. So I'm literally inside this. Oh, you see it disappeared. So I only see if I'm, uh, if we're on the same page, we could see icons of collaborators. So for example, if T, yes, I'm, see, I'm, I'm seeing this over here. Hmm, interesting. I think in uh, Google Docs, this functionality is slightly better because you can see the, what it's called, the actual place where the edits are happening. see I just only see the line like in ordering not the actual place that it happens but updates essentially real time so I think we should be able to use that uh, wish there was like if I could click on your icon and just immediately see where you're working on that'll be a cool yeah. feature yeah okay so uh, can you tell me like which document you're in I'm still at uh, on home base base and you inside something um just the, the the very top or the root of home base. Hmm, I don't see your link for whatever reason. No. Last viewed a few seconds ago, but do you know you, it doesn't. Do you think it would matter if I'm using the desktop app rather than um, in a browser? Uh, doesn't matter because I'm using Team account in a browser. My yeah. personal account was through desktop app. I could we could see each other like these two yeah. accounts. Yeah, I don't know that. Which browser are you using? Maybe no. it's. The... No, I'm, I'm not using the browser. Oh. All right, let's see. Meetings, meetings. Yeah. This is, the only thing that I worry about is people moving stuff around in the, um, in the workspaces by accident. If you're not familiar with Notion. Could... I mean, this thing is amazing, but it's also easy to make a mess. Yeah, 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 I, I know what you're talking about. I, have I mean, sometimes you do, especially if you kind of like jumping in immediately into kind of keyboard shortcuts. It just throws you somewhere. Okay, It'd be nice if you could create additional work workspace. I mean sections. Uh, in what uh, what type of form? So hold on. Do you do, do you do some edits right now? Like add add in some content somewhere. Yeah. Okay. So. so what type of sections? I know that you can do. You know, like uh, if you watch home base right now. Yeah, something like you just did it, right? With the splits. Oh no, it was the splits were already here. They just hello A to it. So I know horizontal one is just like a couple of dashes and it automatically picks up. For a line, yeah. Boom. And now you have the setup. You should be careful to be like in this kind of like the whole block, this resource block, because yeah. it is vertical thing. And this is what sometimes get, like I'm getting really frustrated because it's like not logical. So how do I do the line behind this whole uh, separation? Behind or, or just a, a vertical? So, so for example, like here is right. We have essentially this whole block. If you're watching my screen, yeah. we have four columns. One, yeah. two, three. And now let's say I try to just simply inject a line between 
you know, this, this block and this block. Because Notion is all about these blocks. Oh, but since yeah. this well, every, whole... Every single thing is a block, so... Yes. But here is the, the, the catch. This whole piece, it's not one block. It's multiple blocks, just like stacked yeah. kind of with vertical separators. So in order to, to get me over there, the only way I know is just simply do this. Go home base above, create some content, right? And then it's a block in itself. I could grab this one and I need to like, I know that I'll be in a column here, 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 or here, or if I'm careful enough and pointing, boom, I'm over here. So now I, I injected this line be between this set of blocks, like this piece, right? Which is, this whole thing is one piece and my line. So it's a little bit awkward. And, you know, if you're just, First time seeing Notion, how the hell are you supposed to learn how to do this? Yeah, so I, I think maybe we'll, we'll have to make the first Notion video mandatory <laughs> before you Yes. Can. Well, I mean, like, <laughs> I learned this only, like, uh, what's the, the approach it's called? Like, I'm a monkey with a grenade, and I'm just doing stuff. <laughs> is that a website, or is that your term? <laughs> uh, so in Russian, we have like this thing is like, oh, that guy is like a monkey with a grenade. When, <laughs> when you observe behavior like this, when somebody like, okay, how the hell do I add something? Yeah. And then you start like moving stuff around. This this behavior is like, you, <laughs> right? You should be like, okay, if, if you, if this is part of your workflow, imagine if you grab like this piece, moved it somewhere there, and how I'm moving it back. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I might even have. So, that has the term. So, so do you think so do you think maybe we just come up with a, a very brief disclaimer? Um I and I don't know I, mean, I guess don't there has to be like some point yeah. of like b b before people get access to this, like there needs to be just a very quick note. Like, you know, we you don't want to make it painful, yeah. but just a very quick note and like, hey, listen, if you don't watch this video and be careful, like you will fuck something up for all of us. Yes. You know? Okay. But this is a really good uh, point here. The, the way I see it, right, as a, as a solution for this stuff, it's just simply this one. We get a huge separation block, not with the, hold on, my, my keyboard is, we just do this. Essentially, everything above, here, this section is only get edited by, by strike team of Notion. So essentially, people who know what's up. So let's say I'm kind of familiar with Notion. You're familiar with Notion. Some other people I know who are already proficient. So if they want, they know how to directly kind of make something like add a, a resource over here, you know, another. What do you, do you have, uh, if you go to the top right of the three button dial, do you, do you have the ability to lock the page? Here? Yeah. Yes. Damn. Okay. Yeah, but then nobody could add anything, right? Right. No, no, no. So what I'm saying is, let's make the landing page for every for um. So for get home base, let's make like a brand new landing page just for like first timers. That, that right there, we can call it first timers. Uh huh. Okay, and it's locked. And it's locked. And it's yes. Locked, and we'll make explanations there. Got it. And yes. We'll, and we'll ju it'll just have to be like you know a um 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 like. A, we just have to trust that people are going to, mm. uh, you know, read what they need to and, and yeah. uh, help make sure they don't mess things up. That's yes, and you could on, still on, comment on that page, yeah. okay. not on the blog, unfortunately, or it looks like you can't comment. But at least you can have a, a, a stream of comments that people could ask stuff, right? So it will, it will work. I think, yeah, that's a great idea. I like this. But my solution before this, when I'm collaborating, was just simply this. Here, this piece that looks more or less structured nice, don't touch it. If you have something to contribute, like below this line. Here, ah, okay. my yeah, yeah. contributions and stuff. And then you can do another awesome page. My awesome contribution. Sorry, like my. my I'm using the keyboard that is lagging too far from the machine. So you can kind of like do all of this, and then at some point, 
somebody from like essentially Notion team within Corona were kind of, oh, you know, this is a really awesome contribution. It should be part of this. You know? And then they move around it and it's now, you know, part of this one. We could have some, some process like this. Or maybe we actually do it uh, with your proposal. So if you want to contribute, we have a home base, right? Can we duplicate? There is a way to duplicate stuff, I think. Do you know what the duplication is? I think there was like a button that, to, that duplicate the page. So we could have uh, a page that is locked and it's like public. And another one, if you want to contribute, go to the um, go to the so copy hit the, the three. Uh, how do you call that one? On the, on your left side under the works for each um, mm -hmm. not workspace but uh, for each I guess main root page there under workspace if you hit the three buttons, it, you have the ability to duplicate. So what again? Uh, the three buttons that pop up, yeah. Ah, over here. Duplicate. Oh, I see. So you see, we could kind of like do this. Uh, duplicate. Uh, and now this page we actually add back. Move it around. But instead. Contribute to home base, something like this. Then forget about this page. And now we'll log this page up, right? So nobody could add any, like edit anything over here. But if you want to contribute, yeah. Hold on, what happened? Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, cool. damn it. There was a copy of, the, you see, we got Inception, man. Like, I got really uh, <laughs> tripped over here. So it should be, you know, there should be something, like maybe a styling of the page is slightly different or something. But the idea is, like, all of this is not movable, but everything is clickable, right? And then if somebody wants to propose edits, you go here and you propose an edit. Okay. Right? Something like this. And, like, so, yeah, that Here sense. is my edit, and then we could have a good. For sure, it was all right. So, so, so I mean, somebody could. So, if you wanted to make an edit, you could, you could just uh, so duplicate it, put it in your personal workspace, make make your edits, and then share it with no, the team. No, actually, I'm proposing even simpler version. So we have this is our home base main one, right? And now we have it's again public page nobody needs to do duplicates they simply there is a what like at the top essentially header of the each page that we want to to have this edits we have this kind of copy right but it's editable so we have for every page essentially we have two copies i guess and now here are people free to edit anything and at some point when they do edit they pin the maintainer of this page, and if if this awesome edit was worthwhile, what I can do, right? I can do go and just move it to the main one. It will add at the bottom. Oh, now it's locked. Damn it! So <laughs> that person wanted to unlock it. Then I guess edit it somewhere and lock it back. Damn, it's a little bit awkward. But still, right? This kind of contribute to home. And now, essentially, what you need to do is, I guess, copy. So the only person that did duplicate is somebody who is administrating that page. So you can duplicate it. Push it again back. Okay. I'm not sure this is okay. I'm I'm not sure that this workflow I'm proposing is a good one. You know. So in a sense, you do this. Now this old one you don't need anymore. And now uh, here is right. This sounds awful. Uh, 
Yeah. And, and now you log this back. Okay. You can that also, definitely sounds. You can also just like start um, in any page to start a conversation, mention people, and then talk about it first. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, here's my, like, scrap my previous proposal. We essentially do, we go back to your proposal. So the important pages, we lock, right? Lock. Uh, for example, home base or this one. And so we simply lock them only when people, like, with, uh, like, admin level, essentially for the for this they they edit it but now if people want to propose edit etc they have comment section obviously right and we could still at the very bottom or something we have this page of proposed edits and content for this page and that's it so no copy no duplicating if somebody really wants to reorganize the whole thing right somebody say like Guys, you don't know how to use Notion. Like, this column setup is bullshit. I can do better. We kind of could tell them, man, you're great. Just duplicate, right? Reorganize the content as you want, and then move to the workplace workspace as a, you know, proposal for the edit. And then we, we have a call, people kind of discussing what was get reorganized, did we miss any content, etc. And then we could replace the, the, the main home base page, for example, or Corona White Getting Started Guide or something. How does it sound from your end? Yeah, it works. Yeah, something like this. Essentially, this Getting Started Guide, they're kind of locked, right? But let's say Team Literature Review, this is work in progress document. Oh, you see comments are actually moved. Our old comments. So if people were on the previous page, I guess that they should be able to navigate all this. And now let's say if we want, so here, how was the collaboration with Alex happen on this document, right? We jumped on call, I kind of said, okay, yeah, here is stage one, I kind of made this, this description. I added all of these blocks, how, how this pre-processing pipeline worked. And now I have no idea how stage two Steps working. I have no idea how stage three works. I only know that stage four, that's what Mike Honey did. And Mike Honey kind of like, hmm, no problem. Here is stage three. We created this document. Mike Honey simply, as a guest, just, you know, copy paste some of the info inside. Boom. We have stage three covered, right? The same thing was test ties pipeline. So we could technically log this page. Nobody adds that. But within ties, this is where Alex kind of did a huge info dump on all of his findings regarding work that was done for task ties. And he has also a structure of sub pages. By the way, we could see all of this stuff over here as well in the tree structure. I personally like this one over here to the left. Right? So, in a sense, we could have this tree structure of pages that uh, as we go to the root of the tree, most likely it will be locked. But everything beneath it, all of these pages, they could be open for edits. And the moment when it becomes structured, organized, you lock it and it pushed, you know, into this locked tree structure at the root of this of this whole thing. Yeah, that makes sense. And then whoever's administering the site just uh, yeah. you know, as, as you go along you want to lock stuff or unlock at the bottom of the by the way, if something sounds like too complex or anything, because I'm doing really my, uh, like a thought, what's called, like the flow of thought. So if sounds kind of like too complicated, just let me know and we'll, we'll rethink something better. I, I, no, to me, everything's fine. But I, again, because you know, I watched that video, I think it's... Uh -huh. Because it's, I mean, because it's, it's like, it's kind of a great metaphor for like data science. It's mm -hmm. really re like each individual piece is really, really simple, right? It's just the complexity and how many moving parts there are that makes it difficult for, to understand. Yes. 
Okay, so uh, let's do immediately the page of Notion onboarding. Ah, hold on. I think you already made that page, right? There was something about it. Yeah. You, well, so I was gonna move. I was going to either move it or just add some to um, from from home base to first timers. Mm -hmm. So let me go back. So you know what? I think because home base already kind of sort of like like this block the meetings. It's already a complicated block to to tackle. What I propose is to have essentially first as a this getting started guide. So here I was only using everywhere only two types of blocks. It's sub page and this toggle. So I propose to have first getting starting guide only using this type of elements because this we could put export as HTML put on our website. But then people, as they go deep, let's say, for example, Dataverse onboarding, there is no need for anything, right? It's, it's all these videos that people could watch. It's essentially text and this uh, sub-toggle structure. Uh, now, when they go Notion, boom, now from this page, they could get in, like, being exposed to more complex things within Notion. And then eventually, as they go into onboarding, they get the link to home base. You know, so here the onboarding one. Onboarding. Remember me spelling something? No. Man, my now at the end there will be a link to home base. You know? So we could do it some nice visuals. So essentially there will be step one, one, two, three, right? That people want to do, and essentially profit and link to, to the home base. And edit. Oh, I can't do it. Okay. But the whole idea is that people ended up on this page, and this page is actually the link to, to this one. Hold on, let me try and do it. It's this way. Uh, I don't want to be at a notion, I want to be a web page. Can you see my tab, this one? Well, let me check. All right. So this is the page, right? And if you drop this like header, this page could be hosted on our website on coronaworld.org slash get started. Right? And now people go, I mean obviously the there should be a really step one, step two in terms of what people are going through. But eventually, so let's say if they want to do dataverse, they click, it's it's pure text. So they could navigate get help with not like dataverse etc we do the same for Docana, for example and so on but if they want to kind of notion onboarding they will be like notion boom now you have all of these videos that mandatory to watch etc and eventually hold on why there are no no link to a page that's interesting Oh, so the link itself, I guess, doesn't translate to the web page. Actually, you know what? Let me do this one. Stop using the entire screen. So this is just a web page, you see. So it blocks all of these custom motion elements that are not part of the like markup thing. Okay, so, but I mean, the, I think the idea of this onboarding to Notion should be separate from just this simple knowledge base of how to use the Kano, 
you know, where to go to, to do a comp, because that is pure text, right? And we, like, ideally we want to keep it away from the notion when they're lock ecosystem. But when we go to start dealing with, with notion type of thing, we should be in a, in a notion environment. You go on boarding, now you have a link, you get to the home base, and now home base is this something that, oh my God, all of the daily calls are like registered. So, no action items. Actually, you know what? I'm not sure that, because I know there is like a can band structure in blocks a little bit. I think that what could be yeah, done is essentially. One of the views, go to, um, if you, you have to add a view. Like over here? Um, no. no, so. Oh, the cable. No, in the middle, it says add, add view. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, this one. Create. And now you can have this no responsible. Here is like. And I have this lag again. So I have a big keyboard over here. It's supposed to be. Like free, but the, oh, and you can switch back and forth, right? Oh, okay. But this concept of this essentially was like Notion databases. That's quite a thing to grasp, right? You, you want to be exposed to it when you already, yeah, you know, yeah. you already like Notion at this point. So you know what? Here's my thoughts on this. Since we have a lot of people that have no issues dealing with Trello boards, because it sounds like we just simply, ideally, we want our Trello boards that we're already actively using being embedded here. Can we embed Trello? Is there integration for this? Let's see. Looks like they don't have integration with Trello. Yeah, no, there is. Here. You see? Yeah. So I'll send it in the chat. Oh, so there's just setting and members and then in my connected apps. Okay. How do you go for that? That is actually, that what Let's go through to see what integrations do we have in Notion in general. No, under uh, settings and members. Yeah, and then uh, my connected apps. Oh, over here. Oh, okay, so Google Drive. Oh, Trello is there. Okay, let's do this. Notion. Oh, I need to log in. Ah, hold on. Which account should it be? My person, the one using, or do we uh, need to? To the trail, to, is there a Corona? Let's uh, try Team Corona Y account and, and see because it it's, it's all should be in this one. Man, if we could embed Trello board on this one, I think this will be a killer. After that, I will be like, okay, vendor look in all the way. Because you, know, you can do, you can embed Miro graphs also. Yeah, okay. Well, this is like for Miro, I know only a handful of people are using it. And in terms of collaboration, it's like literally like three people only. With Notion, we're also in the same page right now. It's only essentially me, you, maybe Sergey wants to collaborate. And so, but 
So what well, do I do with like, import? I, I, I've been I've been using uh, OneNote for many years, and I've been looking for many years also to replace it. And mm -hmm. those are for me candidate. So that's also part of my motivation. Well, man, you're in a Notion beast mode because of you. I learned a couple of things. Oh, I see. So I guess the Trello is not on a team account, team or on a Y account. So something else should be. You see, it shows me like create a board. It's to do, okay. And I skip it. Actually, I never did this on boarding for Trello. I guess I checked earlier when they introduced this. Sorry if I had to check. Now you're a pro. Nice. So we need to add team account to the main Trello boards that we have for Corona Y. I do this. You okay. okay, I have too many tabs now. Now I see it. So we go well. to add Team Corona Y, right at org. Yes. Man, if we, essentially what we're doing here is finally making sense of accounts. I had essentially OCD on this, because for Trello we had like words on one account, but I think it was like Arthur's name, because he like we need to pay for it. Then we got kind of support for it, and it be, so the same thing that we get with Notion when I'm using my personal account, I wanted to avoid that for the same reason, because for Trello, I think we're in a similar shoes. And now, yes, so team on zero boards. I guess we need to be added to all boards now. Oh, okay. By the way, we, we need to push more of this board. That should be just literature. Where is the button to be added? How do I join? There was a button on the previous one. Uh, yeah, that. So, yeah, some of it's it's one of the settings. And then ah, of, okay. So it's dependent. So some team members. You have to be invited to join in, able to, uh, in order to see that. Yeah. Ah, hold on a second. Uh, I'm doing. This is on my personal account. So here I should be this boards. Because here I'm on a team. Now I can. Ah, okay. So I could be added anywhere, I guess. And now let us see our Notion integration. Should I reconnect? No. Import your boards. Okay, I'm kind of confused. So I'm added with this account. I guess integration is done. Now I can only do this, the Trello. Because I've got this now. Okay, I see Miro. Thank 
leave. So Trello is not on the list. Did you, uh, you, you enabled it? So I think yes, but no, I never no, did no, this, you know, like, Trello. you know what, let's That's try to do it an, another time, like second time, maybe now it will see, oh, you see, now it sees Corona whiteboards. No, but in the, uh, so in the shortcut, just do forward slash Trello rather than embed. Oh, okay, so I can only integrate the boards I actively join over. Do you see the test board, my private one on this team account? I'm importing it. What happens now? Ah, you see? So it's now a page, but it's no, not like, a table. It's not a, exactly the exactly so the inline database or yeah. page data. But the question is if I move around, so it's not things to do, it's done. Will it work on Trello? Because if it's only import, you know, like one way thing, then it's useless. I mean, it's great for onboarding people and moving away from Trello to Notion, but this is not what we want. Then the boards, test board. Okay, it's one way. It's importing connected apps. So, I mean, it's a good news from this perspective. If we want to take all of the data we have on our team boards and import into notions, it's doable, right? Let's try to have some big, biggest board, how it looks like in Notion. Because Trello at least really useful, like it's super fast how it works. Everything is very fluid. I'm not sure about Notion with multiple boards. Where is Corona Y main? It's, it's, I think it will crash Notion if we're not careful. Let's try that. Where is it? Have you gotten any feedback from people that use GitHub projects instead of Trello? Uh, so uh, Isaac is actively using within his team, and they, I see that it's actively used. Yeah. And I think they're happy with this. I'm not, like. Creating that workflow on Notion won't happen for sure because it's it's all on GitHub. It's all organizing the code. So you want to attach, you know, the GitHub tickets, etc. So I, I really I don't see like that workflow migrating into one tool happening, even though there are like I, I saw some GitHub gist, etc. So I view Notion as a great tool for this knowledge base. Essentially, instead of having Media Wiki or like a Wikipedia type of site and collaboration piece on doing this because GitHub also has wiki pages. It's just painful to edit yeah. in collaboratively. So I think this is where Notion shines. Okay, I guess you are definitely correct about some boards have settings that you need to be invited. Maybe it's the main one because we close it up from all of the people. But let's do this. Maybe I need to do search. Okay. Yes, I need to invite people and I want to invite team. Run a Y account. I didn't realize this put backlinks on. Hmm? Okay, screw so test board. It's too small. Let's try this one. Are you ready to observe it in real time? Eddie. I'm, I'm prepared. A very big board. I don't know what I mean. Because essentially, oh, you know what? Trello, I think, underneath it also uses markup as all of these cards, etc. That's why they were able to build this import 
tool for Notion, because essentially they're maybe converting a few things here and there from markup to markup. Okay, so how, this is how it looks like. Let me add it to, to the main workspace. You can watch it from the desktop app itself. Okay, so what do we have here? So the whole Kanban is migrated nicely. The card inside, these pictures, ah, looks ugly. Let's, let's write this one. So it's just basic progression. Uh, How the, let us see where we have a lot of comments. I wonder how comments look like. It's brainstorming. So we have a lot of discussion, very nice structured look. Labels. So we have labels here. If, yeah, the label should show up. If not. Oh, yes. Yeah. Right. Labels are here. You have comments. You see? Yeah. It converted comments. Nice. But that's about it. I I don't know if I, I mean I'm I'm just wondering if it if if people would push back if you said like just use uh, no. GitHub index just to just to um, reduce the the number of sort of resources that you have to keep up with mm -hmm. or go between uh, I don't know if I mean it looks good and you can import it but like you're saying if it's not going to update. Trello, if you update it here, yes, um, you know it's not it's not really it's not useful. I definitely see the benefits of you know different views like let's say calendar, uh, yeah. and now I guess if you have deadlines, you will see it somewhere here. These guys, I I didn't realize it, but there's like there's like a bunch of um, uh, people with way too much time on their hands going out <laughs> through gorilla mode with no yes and like. I mean, these are people that like want to be on social media or whatever. But uh, I mean, they get they, they, they get intense. Like they can write textbook textbooks on this thing. Oh yeah, like Notion. Like there are like these startups that are building something on top of Notion, oh, really? even before Notion opening up APIs for their stuff. Yeah. So it becomes a platform. Yeah. And the thing is, man, I definitely like. I actually once tried this workflow. You import from Trello. And then since you can get list view, you create some sorting order based on some ridiculous, you know, rules you want. And then let's say you, you essentially create a prioritizing list of tasks. And then you can filter them by assignee or something. You know, it's ridiculous. Like if you go dive deep into rabbit hole of Notion, it's ridiculous. It's like so many things to do, but the our main goal here is simplicity and to have multiple people actually all looking into this one i definitely see this individuals who are like dive into this rabbit hole creates ridiculously structured knowledge but then like you can't cooperate on this knowledge with others because everybody's like okay dude i don't want to touch move anything around because you know the layout will change or something i'll just simply uh, move page in a different wrong spot and then everybody got uh, crazy so so i think again trello i think trello should be trello right because people who know trello they they know how to use it right if we want to move them around they will broke their workflow people who want to use kanban or learn to use kanban etc most likely they would like to learn it on a tool that was designed for that, like Trello again. Because Notion, I'm, I'm thinking, like, if you will see this page, this ridiculous stuff, and then you want to move cards around, like, it's it's too much. I'm already overloaded because... I would, I would stick to either Trello or, or GitHub yes. project for the Kanban board. Um, yeah. Notion can do it, but it, uh, it just... The, the interface is not as nice and clean and then like it doesn't fix the page as well um and that like that was actually one of my concerns with using the uh, database a notion database instead of uh google sheets um 
it, it, even though it's it, it's a lot nicer to have everything in one place, but the Google Sheets, it's just a little bit easier to look at, especially if you're on a small monitor. Oh, by the way, like, do you know, like, ha have you tried uh, Google Drive embedding into Notion? This is where it looks nice. Yeah. So let's say if I have a home base over here, and if I'm doing uh, Drive, Yes, Google Drive. So this is where I need to connect everything. Actually, there was like this idea to talk everybody and just add which stuff comes with so many videos. Let's say building a knowledge crop, select. So you do this one. Oh, it's just a link right now, but I I definitely could do this as embed and I could, you know, scroll the document even within the, the notion itself. Hmm. Maybe it'll pick up, pick, pick up later. But still, you know, like as a place of organizing Google documents as this embeddings, I think it's already good and better than having Google Drive as a folder of all of this stuff. Because you can, you could still do those. Do you know, I forget how to do vertical split. Um, no, you have to, so um, add, add, uh, add some of another block below, and then you have to try and put them side by side. Oh, that, that's so just just create another block of anything, whatever the next column would be. And then try, yeah. Ah, like this. Yeah, oh, now I remember. OK, it was very simple. I remember it was super simple, but not apparent. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, now you can do block. And now let's say you want to do embed oh that's how it works hold on so you don't do this google drive integration you do it this way Damn it. i need to do something with this docs oh and i probably want to use team account. what do we have here orientation I think you do if you do shared and now you do shared link, anyone could make a comment. And if I'm doing this way, hope it will work. Oh, you see, I could actually first of all, like I could drag and drop. Actually, this is a stupid idea to do it in columns. But now this whole document, sorry, the file here because it does not exist. Okay, copy link. Let me double check. That. Okay, it's a working document. So, No, it created the same as this one. And there was some way, like I remember, and I was able like, to scroll around the Google document inside. Because they have all of this again, they have different, that this is hard part about dealing with Notion. They have different types of blocks and some of them are more you like generic 
try um, just pasting the link and see what options pop up after. So if I'm if I'm doing like as a link, the options that pop up will be the same one. So it's that Google Drive. So it'll be just like this static one, you know. So I can't do stuff with it. But let me just show you. If I actually can. If I do, is there a notion of? So let me try to do Notion on my personal account. I'll just tell you what I'm talking about. Notion login. Okay, hold on. Did you see my security? Where is it? Where is it? course so I'm relying on Google Authenticator app that now needs to be updated because I haven't used it in a while Hope nobody was trying like in parallel. Ah, we're not streaming live yet. But the idea is to have like works sessions like this, like streaming live, and then you'll have somebody who could also do this. Okay, so which account I'm here? Okay, here's my plan. And for infrastructure, folks, we had the conversation over here, one versus many GT clusters. Ah, okay, so it was just a screenshot as well. Uh, for whatever reason, I thought it was like you could scroll the document, but it was also just simply a screenshot of a first page, and this table is actually in the document, so you can edit it here. Update. Now it's saved, and at some point, I guess this one will get updated as well. Or maybe it's only when you first create the embed, it will create the snapshot. Most likely. Okay, so the integration with Google Doc is also basic, right? But I think it's more than enough for what we need. Oh, I have a quick question for you. I like to hide videos in a toggle because this way there is no need to, because it has lazy loading of blocks. So if I do, okay, right, then it's like faster response time to load this page. Yeah. Maybe, I mean, but do, but do you think it's apparent when, like, when there is a hidden toggle for people to click, open and watch oh. the video or not? Like, What's your first thought when you saw pages like this? For, that me, I mean, no. For me, no. Um, it's not as obvious. Um, yeah. I guess what we could do, you know what? One video is open, but the next one you do something like... Uh, 
So I'll go. Link to expand for next video. Something like this. Yeah. Check this out. Oh, it actually converted the the arrow. Nice. I like this. So people are first time. Let's get familiar with Notion first. What's this here? Oh, all of these videos. Um, Probably it should be like this video, but this is we create this mandatory playlist. But then at the end, we put this link of this playlist. Well, actually, we could create our own playlist under Corona Y just to essentially on board for this. But then people see, okay, it's mandatory. I'm watching this video, blah, blah, blah. I watched it. Then click expand for the next video. I'm kind of like, what click? Oh, I could click this. Nice. I'm clicking another video. So boom, we just trained the pattern for people to use toggles. Yeah. Something like this. So I, I think that could be a good work, like workflow. Or maybe we could do expand hide. Because by default, it's just what the leftover is, right? I'm not expanding for myself. I'm expanding for everybody. Oh no, I don't know how this works. Uh, let's see. So for you, it's expanded, right? No, and for me, it's closed. Oh, and for me, it's closed. Okay, so it's per account basis. So by default, they're closed. So, oh, okay, so I think this type of part is really good. So we have the same video right now. We should have other video. Some other video. So we make it small a little bit. Oh, nice. I don't know you could do that. So you just grab the edge? Yeah. All right, that's sweet. Well, yeah, now it's not so obnoxious. Mm hmm That's, again, this is what I like about Notion personally. You you essentially do first like an info dump on, on of embedding documents, etc. But then, um, ideally, I like to be lazy and all of the blocks immediately looks good. And this is what Notion team essentially did, that all of those blocks look more or less good. And then you start kind of just simply combining and drag and drop them into columns, etc. And then you have... Uh, exportable HTML page with all of that stuff or again notion itself we share that link this is essentially the the main uh, benefit of that tool everything else is extra oh you can replicate the whole Trello board awesome but I don't know why do I need to do this right or like this de linkable databases was filled they have like some ridiculous system over there that I definitely saw those guys that you were mentioning there, like in, in insane mode that they have too much time on their hands that they create something on top of those databases but i never was kind of like, i'm a database guy to an extent and i'm like i don't get it what what is it about why do i need to do this right yeah. it's content on the page like what but i mean if somebody could go ahead and, and do some crazy with it that eventually it will look like just simply a lot of different cool views i'm, I'm all for it How do I co like now? I have questions to YouTube now. How do you do proper? Oh, by the way, another like try it out. I think there was some by default. If I'm copy pasting the short YouTube link. I think it, it doesn't create embed it only oh maybe it creates embed. Yeah, look at this this is all my I, I just put in the chat the link to the next uh, notion video I'm going to speed through. Mm -hmm. That guy could write a textbook. 
And like you're saying, it's like, why do you need all this? But then you see it, you're like, wow. <laughs> oh, so again, it's it's not notion. It's some guy, right? Yeah, yeah. He has the bulletproof, no and it's 2.0 already. Yeah. Buckets, bulls, 50 bite. minutes. <laughs> well, the thing is, he's not crazy over here. So I think it's, it's something reasonable. Because everything's, was... everything, is, it's a giant tree. Got It's got to, got to be a giant tree. I wonder when we put, like, if we put all of our meetings and videos in this format, isn't it something well, ridiculously so, overkill? So hold on. Let me send you. Here's the link um, to, the, to, the, to uh, the video that I used to create our calendar. Uh, where'd you go? So it's the same guy, um, but uh, just a shorter video, and it's just on uh, what was it, meeting like workspaces or something, mm -hmm. meeting management, whatever. Um, yeah, and he goes through like all the different views. Um, and, um, it, he make, it makes sense and it, him. You can, I put it at, at uh, 1.7 times mm -hmm. speed and it was fine. Maybe put it one and a half. You could still understand very well. Ah, uh, man, I wish he used not so. So you see, this was a calendar review. I remember I'm using calendar review for my personal stuff sometimes because you kind of like, oh, this was how meetings were, you know, on my calendar. Yeah. So that could be actually. Killer feature. But you, you can also then change it into uh, a list if you want to. Mm -hmm. uh, then there's filters. It gets crazy, man. It, it really is. It's nuts. Yeah, I think like right. This is the same view. And this one. No, I'm actually, I'm, hold on, let me see, do I, have I closed it? I already closed I'm also like, at some point I went really crazy into this sections, here is a meeting blocks, here is a daily log, this, 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 but then I, I kind of stopped using it, not using it, but essentially I kind of realized like, screw this, what I need is reminders, and I'm using like uh, Apple reminders, like very simple app uh, for some stuff, basic uh, uh, notes i'm using again apple notes because it's on all of my devices only something that is like this knowledge base like institutional knowledge for long term i'm kind of like oh notion is better for this yeah but anyways it's it's a cool stuff like it's we're, we're living in the best time possible because we have all of these tools available and it's you as an individual to decide what you want what you don't are you a crazy person or you kind of like, ah, I'm just a casual, I just, where do I put links, guys? <laughs> yeah, it's nuts, though. I mean, I like, like, I, I'm such a mess with that stuff. You know, I mean, I started out with, with spreadsheets for links, then Word documents that turn into a billion pages long. Mm -hmm. Then, yeah, I, I've got different ways for, for links. Then I've got knowledge management between OneNote and Word documents, and I'm trying to figure out or work with Obsidian now, now Notion. It's like, there's not one good solution, you know, but it's like, I mean, my goal is to, is to be using as few, um, you know, resources as possible. So if I can get rid of OneNote and Excel and Word and just use Notion, I'll be happy. And then, well, but that's so, and then there's also the backlinks, which is why I got interested in, in Rome uh, but then couldn't get access, so started looking at Obsidian because of the backlinks. So I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm probably I'm going to continue to play with Notion and Obsidian, and then hopefully. Have you, yeah, you know. have you tried Miro embedding for Notion? How it looks like? No, not yet. And that's the other thing: the damn um, mind maps. So Miro, I don't. I think Miro, you can only have three, and then you have to start paying. Mm -hmm. Well, it is. It, it, it's if you want to collaborate, right? Three or more, or something. Yeah. 
But if somebody wants to create some ridiculously big mirror, yeah, because it's useful for them, and then what they do is simply share it as a link to it, I think it could be, you know, a, a workable uh, solution over here. So let me try. I'm, I mean, there are certain things that, and then I think you can also just publish it as maybe as a PDF or something. So there's certain things mm -hmm. like, for example, um, once it's finished or maybe once it gets to a point, I guess the structure for Corona Y and then, you know, the pipeline for the literature review tool or things like that. Um, well, I don't know if you need, need a mind map for that. Or to keep it up. Yeah. No, I guess it's really just as you're doing it, you need to stay organized and then you can publish it and delete it from there. Oh, starting to do something. So let me try right now. I'm just doing it not on the screen. I'm sharing it, but because I'm already logged in over here. Invite link. Okay. Okay, and now... Hold on. Did I close Notion already? Ah, first time. Looks like YouTube logo of this one. So, home base, mirror. So okay, I'm clicking it. Oh, you see, it's interactive. That's what I was talking about. So the same thing worked with Google Docs before for me. You can kind of like, okay, screen. I think this document was a really huge. Oh, here it is. You see like, all of those different levels, etc. And it's all within Notion. Yeah. How cool is that? So mirror integration is actually amazing. So why for Google Doc it doesn't work that way? Let me... Oh, okay, so every time I want to log in because it's right, it's external data. It doesn't automatically load, which is good. It doesn't, it saves your bandwidth. But when you click, you kind of, oh, I could actually view all of this. You know, this is like all Corona. Oh, man, it's awesome. So we could definitely start utilizing Miro more on the org level because we could have notion to tie it up all of those boards. So I'm deleting this one. Hmm. I like this. Oh, okay, how much time will we do? Because I don't think, I, I think the video recording will be saved to drive and I'm not sure we have enough space over there. I don't know what time, what time did this, Oh, geez. I think it's Maybe a couple of hours. Yeah. Uh, man, so we did, let's summarize. Uh, we did lots of, let go, let me first clean up some stuff that we don't need on the home base page. We essentially went through all of the bits and pieces we want to try. Try integration with Trello, realize that Trello is one world, one world, Notion is another one. We know that Notion and Miro works nicely, right? Now the world of GitHub, GitHub pages, etc. it's a separate world. 
this is where the code, like everything touches code, which probably should be on GitHub. Everything that relies on knowledge base surrounding, like text, visual information, this is where Notion comes into play. And now in terms of collaborating on tasks, etc., like where you have Kanban process, this is where Trello is. So we have three concepts essentially, right? Knowledge, science, etc., collaboration, it's it's notion that is tidying everything up. If people want to use Miro, they could hook up their Miro document board to Notion. If they use Google Doc, no problem. Google Sheets, no problem. Right? So we have this common denominator for this. Now code, etc., links to GitHub repos, etc. It's it's a workable. Uh, everything works. Let's put it that way. And uh, what else? What else do we need with from Notion, etc.? I think that's already enough for us to actually spend time utilizing it more and getting more people get familiar with it and you know, propose maybe different templates and so on and so on. That's just kind of my my summary. Cool. Um. So yeah. do we want to keep this templates media? I guess it's by default were added there on the team account. I just added template name so people got confused that it's not our actual content. Okay, yeah, no, we can delete those. So the, the goal is to have as few items yes. or as, as few root. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to call the, I don't want to, I guess we, yeah, so have as few top level workspaces as possible, and then everything hopefully gets buried beneath. Them. We could always re import this type of uh, predefined templates as examples and you know, use them as well. Okay. So, essentially, home base. So, I will keep the Steam literature review that we have here as a separate, this one as a separate for now. Right, yeah. because we're, we're still in a early days of using this. But eventually, the way I see it, right, exactly, first timers, boom, you kind of do this. And obviously, it's kind of, oh, it's closed. It's, uh, hold on. This one should be over here. So kind of like we expand on this onboarding process that people learn to click this and so on and so on. Then eventually, they will have a link to home base, boom. And now here we could have, I mean, we'll work on the structure, all of this. Let's probably do like this one. But then you will see meetings. Meetings is actually in this three structures over here. I actually wonder why they have this as a link. That, yeah, so I, that, that screwed me up before. And then I started moving things around the, um, uh, the pages. But... Uh... So that just means that it's a linked database. Well, that is it. I know like how, I mean, here is what I know, the rule of, of creating this sub list of pages. If, if there is a sub page on, on the home page, for example, meetings, it will be added over here. Now, if it's a link to a page, I guess they also add it the same way. So I guess if we want meeting as a separate page, as a, you know, to have it like this, Maybe we should have another root node of like actual raw content or something. And now home base, it's essentially a structure on top of that list of all of those pages. Maybe something like this. I wonder like how those crazy guys that are managing yeah. this type of thing. Yeah. We just need to come up with the pattern. Uh, for now, I will just do this. Okay, what I learned today is also don't use two keyboards to, to draw pages. And now what we can do is move the meeting page over there. Right, so that'll be just like a dump of pages that you know you can work on. Now you, you put it all the way down. And now here you will have this nice structure that is home base. Here are meetings. Meetings is actually pointing out to raw pages meetings. 
but you can't drag the 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 one with the arrow out of there, right? Uh, where? What do you want yeah, to? Yeah, yeah. Technically, so, you can run this called block, right? And this is essentially you. Uh, so I know, like this part of this, right? Is you can have a page, and let's say you have a calendar over here. Oh, not not inland calendar. Oh, okay. So you can have inland calendar. There it is. Yeah, and then you, you can link to the calendar as a linked database. Hold on. Boom, calendar. Oh, full page calendar. Now it will be like a page over here. This was actually what I wanted to do as an example. This is what makes Notion complicated. Yeah. It's just like two things that you can do and if you following up like there what's like what's new you will kind of see that they added everything was in a logical manner but if you want to jump it like right away you'll be like what the f so for example you have a sub page that is full page calendar you can't do anything besides page and views over here and sometimes it's kind of like hmm, you know what i want to have that expanded as a block on this page you can do do turn into inline and now it's loaded as this one. So the same way as your linked meetings over here, right? Because you can do link to page. Well, they're just the link to the, link to the meeting is just a database and the calendar is also a database. So right, you see, this is two, it's the same thing, meeting, meeting, but this one is expanded. But now it's, I can't turn it to this view. Ah, I see what you did. So what you did. <laughs> right, so forget about this block. Now, now I'm like, dude, I'm actually, now I'm learning, like, uh, I'm get, making you. sense of Notion. Just, so you, just, just watch so, the first two videos. And then, and then, but then when you create another view, it adds another page uh, or adds another sub page. Okay. So, it so forget about this. Wild, but yeah. Why do you have, oh, okay, this for this block. Now I see. Now I see. All of this and unnecessary. I like to click. Ah, oh, it's full width. Now the thing is, again, honestly, I haven't watched all of those Notion videos because when I got this databases, I'm like, hey, screw this. I'm not diving deep into this stuff. So what you did for meetings essentially you created a table, right? Let's yeah, see. It's, 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 it's an inline database. That's all. But here, like, did that's you add? Now, no, no, no. So okay. So now go into go under name. Go on un, um, under name. So view. Well, that's so that's later. So, for example, like each cell there in the table can be oh, okay. to uh, to its own database. Right, so its own table. You can do tables within tables within tables, go on forever, like in section. I uh huh. So what do I need? Is, is it will be at the portal like this, and then I kind of like connect it? No. Uh, so where was, or go to, go to either home base or meetings. Where are the meetings? Are? And then all right, so hover over the um. The daily general uh, mm -hmm. go down yeah see where it says open well it's because this is just a dedicated page right so daily general uh, yeah but it's um but what i'm saying is is so it's just i mean it's just a, a it's an inline table with a, a, a full page table embedded mm -hmm. in each cell yes ah and then so th so the the column headings so those are, um, crap, I forget all the terminology they use, mm -hmm. but those are um, not features. Um, the hell do they call them? Properties. Those, so those properties. are properties. And then you can, so, and then you can change the view 
But oh, okay, I, I know this is what if I open it like this is the properties you're talking about. Later duration, yes. it's exactly the same as if exactly. I go back. How do I go back? As if I close. So this is here is the page, daily general. And all of these columns are simply these properties of a page. Yeah. Yes, this is actually a very important concept in, in all of this uh, notion stuff. This is where I, I'm, I'm lost is basically this, meetings. This inline table, and we could again obviously add calendar view and other stuff. It relies on meetings, which is, which is page that's right now located over here. You see? So it's a dedicated page with their own. I mean, so this is the, the, the raw data. If I'm going to export the whole workspace, this will be a page, and then it will have all of the substructure, etc. But this is what kind of black magic to me at this point is. Yeah. This block, I don't know how you create it. Again, it's like I need to watch the videos. It relies on that page, right? It's a link to it. So how the hell do I do it if I want to do it over here? So do you want to do like a link to page with link inline? Because if I'm doing link to page and it was like this, uh, what was it? Meetings. It's a, you, <laughs> you see? <laughs> What's the video? Like I forgot now. Yeah. So yeah, there you go. Okay. this is the same thing. Yeah. But I can't do it turn into inline for the reason you're able to do this. Yeah, no. This is what... I forgot, it's really simple. I'm t it's really simple, you're just gonna, I, I have it in my notes somewhere, or just... Re well, it's the... it's very simple, but it's not discoverable yeah. for the monkey right. with a grenade that my approach is. So that's why I'm like, okay, this type of stuff, we shouldn't utilize that much yeah. because it requires watching videos. Or maybe I'm wrong, maybe I need to watch well, all of those videos. Yeah. No, I mean, I look if you know if you're coming to work on this type of stuff, you're not an airhead, you know. You're you're somewhat responsible, curious person. So yeah. you're doing it, you've been doing enough of this stuff where you 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 hopefully realize, you know, it's like I don't know. It's um, I think most of the people that are in this type of community or working on this type of stuff mm -hmm. will, um, uh, I mean, if they don't go to it, you know what? Maybe we we we. Yeah. Instead of what did I say? So first timers, maybe it, I should say it should say like instead of get familiar, they avoid the pain. <laughs> avoid the pain. Yes, that would be great. Get familiar. And then how do I make this? What you can't make this make just this bigger? No, I can't. But then what happens if somebody opens this up in um, uh, that's not in uh, dark mode? Avoid the pain. I wish I could make it bigger, but you can't. I don't think you can. I think you can do it like at least bold. Yeah. Oh, it can, it can also add background and stuff. You know what, I, what I realized? Maybe it's worth to find some community that also already relied on Notion. And yeah. I think everybody naturally will come up with this type of document. It's like, guys, if you want to use Notion, here is what you need to definitely watch. Because uh, obviously, official account of Notion at this point is, is very complex because they want to uh, highlight the, all of their features, etc. So you don't know what exactly to watch, and nobody has time to watch thirty videos. Yeah, and if you watch, okay. So actually, you bring up a good point. Let me do this. So do that, and then I'll say. Uh, so uh, just maybe say that. Uh, how long is this first thing? Eight minutes, I think it was. So, 
first timers. <laughs> the thing is, this is not the good selling document for Notion. <laughs> first timers, avoid the pain if you only spend that much time. <laughs> This is something like if, if we click on the right top corner, right? Kind of like, uh, where is it? Uh, hey, I'm, I'm not exactly the creative type, okay? No, no, like share the web page and do like this search indexing. <laughs> this is the type of thing like Notion should like ban, like have a bot to kind of scan for this type of uh, sentiment from Notion. But if it is like, I mean, is, this is the reality, I think. I'm actually think like if we will start utilizing it more and experience of our community, this is exactly what notions want to hear and then simply like kind of see how to streamline the platform for, for people to use. Because like, I mean, uh, if you go on Reddit, there is a notion subreddit where people share all of this ridiculous kind of their setups. It's very similar culture to, you know, like battle stations for PC, guys who are building their computers, try to showcase their, like, multiple screens, nice desktop, like that type of stuff, or communities of people just sharing their, like, Linux desktop environments and stuff. Yeah. This is very, like, it's exactly the same urge for people to organize things, set it up, and then share. And it looks like a candy, but when you try to eat it, or unwrap it, you start seeing this first timers, avoid the pain. Do this, do that. Like never like don't use inline databases because it becomes a you know, like that type of things. Yeah. So we need we need a storyboard. That's all. Yeah, something like that. A storyboard of a monkey with a grenade <laughs> walking, into, walking into a, a glass shop that meets a chi that meets a bull. Mm -hmm. That's, I think that's the equivalent, the American equivalent, maybe. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like a China shop. But I <sighs> like the grenade one better. <laughs> well, the thing is, like, here you can definitely grenade this stuff because simply oh, yeah. you click on something, move somewhere, you click it, and it's moved somewhere. And how do you get it back? Add it back? Yes. But what if you forget to add it back because you haven't noticed that it moved somewhere? Because honestly, I had today this moment when I was migrating the pages from account to account. I migrated it and it disappeared. And then I like, I'm, I'm checking another thing and it haven't appeared where I was expecting it to be appear. And I'm like, did I just nuked the whole page with all the dependency pages? But then, oh, luckily it's just simply not on the workplace, it's in the private. And I just moved it on the private and I'm like, okay, it's, it's, it's a simple pattern. Uh, Okay, I think we need to wrap it up because we could dive into yet another rabbit hole of Notion. But so far, I think the results are amazing. We we only moved closer to actually utilize this as this aggregator of knowledge base and in a collaborative fashion as well. So now we know that, you know, kind of like, okay, easier blocks is definitely to go. You don't need to think, have second thoughts of utilizing them. Like second order complexity of blocks, this is where you need to watch all of the videos. So, for example, I'm not in that position. I need to watch videos first and then utilize them. But everything else, good to go. Embedding of mirror tables, etc. It's you know what? Here is I think how it the, the pattern. So instead of this raw pages, we could have all of the mirror boards, and you just simply create the style of mirror boards. But then they, you can link them in the documents as well, you know? So this is my workflow is I first create info dump of all of the information and then I structure it with links to simply raw data. And I think it maybe sounds like exactly what Notion was intended to be with their database and then you create these views on top of those databases. Maybe I'm, re I'm, I'm essentially reinventing the notion what, what it already is. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so let's wrap it up. I'm definitely okay, I'm stopping the, the recording.